Hello, all my fit friends. Welcome back to Wow Body Now. Can you believe that this is the final workout of our challenge? Hasn't it flown by? Have you remained a hottie through the holiday? If you've been consistent with me and followed the challenge outline, I know you have. So, it is also New Year's Eve, so Happy New Year, and this is our happy new rear workout. So you're gonna need a set of dumbbells, a hip circle, a mat. I'm gonna start our timer and we're gonna get right into it because you know I'm trying to get us in and out in 30 minutes, so start jogging in place. You know I love glute training and it's so important to have strong glutes, right? And that's why I'm so excited to announce that I've developed an eight week happy new year, new rear workout program that I'm offering that I'm going to launch here in a couple weeks. So I'm so excited about it. It's an eight week program that's gonna include eight different workouts that are gym specific for the gym. Hold on. Give me some hip circles here. And then also for all of you people who love to work out from home and prefer to work out from home, I'll have eight different workouts that you can do with your equipment right at home. And the, it's a glute focused program. So you are going to sculpt, strengthen, and tone beautiful glutes, obviously, but you're gonna hit every single muscle group in your body. So you're going to be reshaping your entire body all the major muscle groups. I'm so excited about it. So stay tuned for when that's gonna launch so that you can snag that program and get your new rear in the new year. Yes, I'm so excited about it. Beautiful. Just give me those hip circles here. I'm getting really warm through the hip joint. Increasing the blood flow, circle it the other way. There you go. Because when you exercise the glutes, when you focus on the glutes, it's that hip joint. They tie into that hip joint. Nice. Abs in, shoulders back, smile on. Okay, so, all right. So, just give me some leg swings here. This is a great dynamic stretch for your legs and it's continuing to really warm up this hip joint. Nice. So just turn and face your wall and swing the leg across your body. Sorry that my back is to you, but you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just swinging it across. Keep it up. Other leg, forward and back. There you go. Hoo wee So be standing up tall here. Really engage those abs. Already pull that belly button in. Turn and face the wall, swing across. Now we're leaning over just forward slightly into the wall, but we're still keeping our back nice and strong, still keeping our abdominals engaged to really support good posture. All right, all right, so get down on all fours and give me a bird dog. Arm and leg come out and then just bring them in and extend them out. Bring it in, extend it out. So your arm is at shoulder level, your leg is at hip level. Same thing other side. Bring it in, extend out. Bring it in, extend out. There you go. We are really waking up the entire posterior chain here, the back side of your body. And then this little crunch here gets those abs. Go ahead and put that Band on just under or over your knees. Feet shoulder width apart, press against the band, opening up your knees. Reach across your body, over your shoulder. Getting a little twist here. Nice. Are you feeling warm? 
Are your glutes feeling more awake? I'm sure they are, because mine are. We're almost done with the warm up here. Then we're gonna get into our workouts. It's gonna be awesome. So stay in glute bridge and just give me some abductions, which means you're opening up your knees. When an extremity goes away from the midline of your body, it's called abduction. So because you're opening up your knees away from, to the outside, away from your midline, it's abduction. And you're staying in that glute bridge position. Give me a full hip extension. Push your hips all the way up to the ceiling, really squeezing your glutes. Maintaining your hips up like that is really activating your gluteus maximus, where the abduction gets your minimus and medius. So we're gonna get ready to go with a banded goblet squat. So you just need one of your weights. Feet shoulder width apart, toes turned out. Come down. And maybe your feet are actually a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. And you're trying to get your elbows into the inside of your knees while keeping your back flat. Do you see that? My back is flat. I'm not rounding my back. And I want you pressing with the same amount of force against that band on the way down and up. Press against that band strongly throughout the entire movement. Nice. Go ahead and lay down. You're gonna give me that glute bridge again. And we're going to move this up to above your knees if you haven't already. One leg is straight and give me a straight leg abduction in that glute bridge. Oh my goodness. Single leg movement, you really feel it with this band. Keep pushing those hips up. And then it's a straight leg abduction. Press against the band. Come on, ooh we, we got this. Depending on how thick your band is, maybe you can open up your leg even more and that's fine. This is a pretty heavy band. So my range of motion is limited. Oh, a slight break, and then we're doing the same thing on the other side. So, enjoy this rest. Let's get ready to go. All right, give me that glute bridge, extend the other leg, then give me that straight leg abduction. <sighs> nice work. Press against that band. Open up that band. You got this. Yes. Focusing on the glutes. Getting the new rear for a happy new rear workout. And I hope I'm getting you excited for the new year, new rear program that I'm going to be offering here in about a week or so. It's going to be launching. All right. What's next? Ankle banded lateral squat walks. So when we do this with it down by our ankle, it actually is gonna be more difficult. If it gets to be too much, you can move it further up. So give me a squat, stay in your squat, and then walk to the side. Oh, go to like one end of your mat and then the other. Really feel tension in the glutes there. Abs are in, shoulders back. All right. Come on. It's not a huge range of motion if you have a thicker band. If you have a thinner hip circle or booty band, you might be able to open up wider. That's fine. Just as long as you feel tension, you're working against that band. Banded clamshell. So I'm gonna move it up to just under or over my knee. I'm gonna get into a sideline position. Feet together, knees open. So you're thrusting and then you're pressing against the band and down. Push the hips up, open up the band and down. Hips up, band open, down. Hips up, knees open, down. 
So this is a play on a classic Pilates move, right? Ooh-wee. Mm. Do you feel it, especially in the hips down here, the outside of the glutes down here, just as much as up here, if not more. Nice. Same thing, other side. My gracious. That creates a burn, right? It's no joke. This band stuff is no joke. There you go, up and down. Down. So push the hips up, open up the knee. The bottom knee stays on the floor. We got it. We're almost there. Calm, cool, collected, focused, not giving up. If it ever gets to be too much, just take the band off and do it without the band. That's fine, right? Okay. So, we're gonna do that goblet squat again. And we're gonna do a one and a half um, tempo. So all the way down, halfway up, all the way down, all the way up. Now that we got the movement in the first round, all the way down, halfway up, all the way down, all the way up. All the way down, halfway up. All of that little halfway motion really increases the time under tension of the glutes, making this an even more challenging version of the goblet squat. Press against the band. Come on. Oh my goodness. Gracious, great balls of burning glutes. <laughs> Okay, lay down, back on the mat. This is round two of three of this circuit. Okay, just going through three times. Pick up the glutes, one leg goes straight, straight leg, abduction. Abs are strong, mind is focused. You can do this. I know it burns. It's supposed to burn. You are creating enough intensity to actually make positive changes. If you don't feel the burn, if it doesn't feel challenging, minimum you're maintaining what you have, but we're all about progress and improvement here as fit friends in my body now, right? So we learn to embrace the burn love the burn, and work through the burn. That's what we're doing here. Okay. Get ready. Same thing, other side. Give me that glute bridge, extend the leg, and give me that abduction, that straight leg abduction. Squeezing the hips up. Well, now what's gonna happen as you get tired, the hips are gonna wanna drop down. Don't let them. Keep pushing them up. Yes. Woo wee. You can do this. You got this. Come on. Just keep breathing. Just keep smiling. Just keep working. Nice. So, I'm gonna drop it down to around my ankle. Do you guys see my cute socks? They have little penguins on them with scarves and polar bears. <laughs> All right, give me that squat. Stay in that low squatted position. It's kind of like an athletic stance here, right? Defensive stance. And give me those lateral walks. One end of your mat and the other. Again, if you have a lighter booty band that I do, you can probably take bigger strides. That's fine, we're all just making sure we're keeping tension on that band the whole time. Really working against the tension of that band to activate those glutes. Nice work. 
Okay, clamshell. I'm actually gonna start on this side and I'm gonna take it to above my knees. It's gonna make it a little bit easier. But that's okay, because it's still going to be challenging. Bottom knee stays on, thrust the hips up, open up the band. You got this. Come on. Yes. Yes. We can do this. There's that burn. Are you embracing the burn? Are you welcoming the burn? and the result that burn is going to get you. Think of it that way. Okay, same thing other side. The burn is our friend. <laughs> Your glutes, they may be crying now, but in a couple days, when and after consistently working them at this intensity, in a couple weeks, when you see that booty really rounded out and strong and toned and sculpted, you're gonna thank me. <laughs> Your glutes are gonna thank you. You got this. Come on, keep it up. Ooh, abs in, chest up. Work against that band. Nice work. Okay, we are starting round three, the final round of this. Then we're gonna have a little five minute squat and lunge challenge. But we're on the last set of this. Try to get your elbows to the inside of your knees and give me that one and a half rep, right? All the way down, halfway up, all the way down, all the way up. Press against the band the whole time. Yes. Good job. Keep it up. Keep your chest up. Shoulders back. Abs in. Good job. Good job, everybody. Come on. Nice. Okay. Lay down on your back. Okay, where am I gonna keep it? I'm gonna keep it there. Give me a glute bridge, extend that leg out. Give me that abduction. Press against the band there. Just keep breathing. Just do the best you can. This is the third and final round. After this, we're gonna take the booty band off. We won't be using the booty band for the last five minutes of our workout, okay? So, take advantage of it now. Really work against the resistance. Press against that band. Push your hips up. Yes! Abs in and strong. Yes! A little 15 seconds rest here. Oh. Put your hips all the way down. Totally take advantage of this rest. Just relax because it's about to burn again. Get ready. Knees open, hips up, leg extended. Open up the band there. Press against the band with that straight leg. Squeeze your glutes, push your hips up. Good job, good job. Keep it going. Keep it going. I'm so proud of you. I know you're working hard with me. It's worth it. All of this effort, all of this discomfort and muscle burning and working through it, it's worth it. Right? Nice. I'm gonna drop it to my ankles. And it's not just worth it for the physical benefits, for the strength you're gaining for the shape you're gaining, right? It's also about doing hard things and proving to yourself that you can do hard things and gaining confidence in your ability to face challenges, whatever life challenges you are faced with. 
Working through hard workouts like this and not giving up on yourself in workouts like this trains you to not give up on yourself in all aspects of life, right? So don't give up on yourself here and you're gonna be better equipped to kick ass in life. So let's keep going. There you go. Hoo-wee. Come on. Come on. Oh, okay. Banded clamshells. Okay. These, yeah, are not my favorite. I'm not looking forward to these. But I'm still gonna crush it and I want you to too. <laughs> Push the hips up, open up the band. Push the hips up and open up the band at the same time. Keep the bottom knee on the ground. Don't rest at the bottom too much. <laughs> oh, hey. Come on. We got this. Almost there. Then we get a nice 15 seconds rest before we go to the other side. There you go. Mm. Oh, and then after this one, you get a full, I think 40 seconds to rest before we do our last little five minute lunge and squat burnout. <sighs> yes, yeah, so a full 40 seconds of rest is coming after this. So work hard now, like I said, Welcome the burn, embrace the burn, love the burn. Tell the burn you're the boss, it is not. It doesn't matter how much it's burning, you're gonna finish out this interval. Yes, don't give up on yourself. I believe in you, I believe in me, we're gonna do it and it's almost time to ding. Keep going, keep going to the last beat. <sighs> I'm so proud of you, yay. So we're gonna go ahead, get rid of the band, grab both of your dumbbells and have them handy. You have a full 27 seconds left to rest and recover. So we're gonna have five intervals and each interval is gonna be cut into half. So when you hear the, the little single beep in the middle, we're gonna take it to a pulsing move. Excuse me. And our first move is gonna be a sumo squat. Feet wide, toes turned out. Grab your dumbbells, put them right there on your shoulders, and give me a full range of motion sumo squat here. Drop the hips low while keeping your chest up. Knees are going the same direction as your toes, and toes are going out towards the corner of your room, corners of your room. When we hear the little beep, we're gonna do pulses. Okay. Ooh, I lost my balance. There we go. Come on. There we go. Pulse. Pulse. You got it. You got it. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Ten more seconds. Keep pulsing. You can do it. Almost there. Nice work. Right into a curtsy. Curtsy, full range of motion with the curtsy. Down and up, down and up. You see that curtsy? Down and up. Staying on this side for right now. Do you see how my shoulders are back? I have distance between my ears and my shoulders. My chest is open and proud. Here's that pulse. Pulse. Hmm. Push through that front heel to keep those glutes really engaged. Quads, feel it too. Oh my goodness, a little break there. Okay, let's go. Almost there. Shoulders back. Mind over matter. <sighs> Same thing, other side. 
Get set up, get your balance. Full range of motion, down and up. Down and up. Keep breathing. Here's the pulse. Pulse. Oh. oh my goodness, you know what's burning most? Right here is my quads. But I'm gonna wiggle my toes and really drive my energy through the front heel. Ah. Come on. Pulse it, pulse it, pulse it. Almost there. Quick transition, pistol squats. Beginners, you look like this. One heel down, sit your hips back and come up. Everybody else, if you're more advanced, give me a full pistol squat and up. Take your time. This is about flexibility and control and balance just as much as it is about strength. Ready, switch to the other side. Beginners, heels down, toes up. Drive your hips back. Really push up through that heel, right? Everybody else, give me a couple of your best pistol squats. You can also do what I'm doing, but sit back on your couch or a chair. You can do chair pistol squats. I need to focus so I don't lose my balance. Oh. One more. Kind of one more. <laughs> okay, alternating hopping side lunges. So, give me a side lunge, hop, other way. Actually, side lunge, hop. There we go, hop, 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 hop from side to side. Do you see how my chest is basically staying in the center there? And it's just a different version of a speed skater. Lots of times when I do speed skaters, it's more of a curtsy where the leg goes behind. Now, the leg's just going out to the side. Whew. Raising that heart rate for the last 15 seconds. Let's go. Come on. This is the last 10 seconds of the workout. Keep pushing, keep going. You got it. Let's go. Feet wide, toes facing forward, hinge forward, reach towards the floor, keep your legs really long. Just breathe. Back is flat for right now. If you can't reach the floor, maybe put your dumbbells down and hold on to your dumbbells. Take it over to the right side and pull your nose toward your right knee. We're gonna be here for 30 seconds. Keep your legs nice and long. If you wanna increase kind of a spine stretch, increase that twist, kind of look over your shoulder, draw your knee in even more. Not your knee, draw your chest towards your knee even more, I should say, that's a better way of saying that. Same thing, other side, slowly walk your hands over, Grab your ankle, twist, pull your chest in towards your knee. Oh. Just keep breathing, hang out there for 30 seconds. We are stretching through the lower back, glutes and hamstrings that got worked so much today. If you wanna increase the stretch, pull your chest towards your knee even more, twist and look over your shoulder. Okay. Cross your right leg behind your left leg. Push your hips out as you lean over, stretching those hips, the outside of those glutes. It might feel better to lean into a wall, and if you want to lean in towards a wall, you can do that. Oh, yes, that feels good. We're almost done. 
left leg behind right leg. Push your hips one direction. Lean over the other direction. Doesn't that feel good? Nice stretch from your armpits all the way down to your hips. Outside of those glutes, they worked so hard today. This should feel really good on them. Yay! We made it through the entire Hottie Through the Holiday Challenge and definitely through this nice challenging workout. Thank you so much to everybody who did the challenge with me this year. All of your positive vibes and encouraging words definitely helped me. And I am so excited for the new year, new rear program that I've designed just for you guys. So stay close on my Instagram. There'll be more details there of exactly when it's gonna launch and how you can grab up your new year, new rear program here with me and all the other fit friends. All right, so until we meet again, I want you to always remember, no excuses, no regret, just sweat. Mwah. Happy New Year, everybody!